everybody! Have you been looking for an affordable still to make your own essential oil in your kitchen? Or have you been looking for a way to make full spectrum oil and not have lose all of that alcohol to the atmosphere when you're using like a rice cooker or a slow cooker? So I found this Bever still. It's three gallons and with a couple of modifications, I'm gonna be able to use it to make uh, my own essential oils in my kitchen, and I'll be able to make FSO from my own cannabis harvest, and eventually I'm going to make alcohol to do my extraction. Come join me on my journey to discover how to use this still to make essential oils, uh, full spectrum oil, and how to make the alcohol to do the extraction for that full spectrum oil. Our journey will begin with cleaning the still and prepping it for our first time use. Yes, so let's... All right guys, so uh, for the cleaning process, it is found on page 16 and 17. It's what you'll find is that it is a three-step process. So in this three-step process, uh, the first step is to just, you know, clean it with hot soapy water. I used um, a hot soapy water mixture and poured it through all of the copper tubing to do that part of the cleaning process. And then for the second part of the cleaning process is called a vinegar run. And in this vinegar run, you're basically setting up the still with the condenser unit dry and you're gonna run the still full to about one fifth the volume of the still with a 50-50 mixture of water and vinegar. And then for the third process, it's called a sacrificial run. So for the sacrificial run, you're gonna use the distillation method of your choice. And uh, for, for me, what I'm gonna be doing is a mint essential oil distillation for my sacrificial run. All right, so we're gonna get started with assembling the lid first, and then we're gonna do the vinegar run which is step two of the cleaning process. And then after that, we're gonna do our mint distillation for the sacrificial run. Yes, we got this, guys. For the lid assembly, we have two pieces to install, the thermometer with the washer and the nut. The second piece to install is the copper tubing that leads from the still and to the condenser. So we're going to remove the nut here, leave the washer on, and then we're going to install this piece of tubing to the lid with the washer on the outside part of the lid to form that seal that we're looking for. Then um, when you are putting the nut on, we'll use, take it to finger tightness here. And then we'll do about a quarter turn with the wrench just to tighten it down so that we create that seal. We're, we don't want to over tighten. Then the thermometer has some threading at the base there. And again, we're going to use the washer against the top side of the lid. You're going to want to make sure that the thermometer is readable from the way that you want to set up your still. So I'm going to rotate it here so that I can read it. Um, in the direction that I want to have my lid facing when I'm uh, distilling our mint. Okay, so you, again, you're going to take it to finger tightness and then you're just going to use the wrench to um, complete the tightening. 
And there you have it. Your lid is assembled and you're ready to use it on your stew. All right, so this is the first run with our uh, Bever still. And so we are going to fill it a fifth of the way with half water, half vinegar. And um, I already put the water in there to about a tenth. And so I'm going to put another tenth vinegar in there to be about a fifth of the volume in here. And then we're going to run that through and we will have our still cleaned. Okay, so we've got the flame on there and we're just starting. So you can see that the thermometer is at like 60 degrees and it's already starting to rise slowly. And then we've got our condenser with no water in there. And we're gonna wait until we have some distillate coming out. Okay, so the temperature has been steadily climbing. We're at about 100 degrees and still climbing. We're gonna be taking it to about 200 degrees for this uh, cleaning process. And um, we're only going to let the uh, process run until we have fluid and steam coming out and we are stabilized at 200 degrees. Okay, so water, liquid and steam are coming out of the tube. So um, according to the instructions, we are done here. And that happened at about two, it was, it was under 200. Fahrenheit when it started, but it's, it looks like it's going to stay at around 200, but um, we're going to end it here. Okay, so with the heat turned off, we can see that the steam and the liquid coming out has greatly decreased, and once it's completely cooled, we will discard of all of the vinegar and water inside the still. The modification that I made here for the steam distillation just involves using a vegetable steamer and some three and a half inch nails to lengthen the legs. The legs that come with the original steamer are about an inch long and um, I am using here three and a half inch nails to raise the steamer higher in order to allow a larger volume of water to be used underneath the vegetative matter. Okay, so here we are chopping up the mint for our sacrificial essential oil run. So I'm just chopping it up into little bits. Here we're all set up with the mint in the still on top of the vegetable steamer that we looked at earlier for the steam distillation. So we're seal up the still at this point and then we are ready to go. It's really easy to seal. It makes a great seal and um, no steam gets out. So when we are done with sealing it up, we connect the condenser finger tight and then use a wrench to tighten the rest of the way very small amount of tightening that you'll have to do with the wrench. You don't want to over tighten. Adding ice to the condenser. For this run, we're not going to hook it up to the pump, but for a regular run, um, absolutely hooking it up.
Okay, so now that the still is all set up, we have the heat on high, and we are getting that water to a boiling temperature so that the steam can start to do its job on the leafy green matter. And here in the condenser, we've got our ice water. We do not have it hooked up to the pump for this run because we are only going to be running for a couple of minutes just to get the essential oil running through the system. So we're at 200 degrees here and we've got our still boiling and the hydrosol is starting to collect in the bottle. You can see it dripping pretty rapidly here with um, a very thin layer of oil at the surface of the hydrosol there. We're not going to run it too long because um, this is a sacrificial run and we just need to get the hydrosol running through the system to clean everything out. Okay, so now that we have some hydrosol collected in our bottle, we are officially done with our sacrificial run and we can move on to a real essential oil extraction. Okay, so now that we've got our still clean, we can move on to the next step, which is to make our own essential oils right here in our own kitchen. So the first essential oil that I'm gonna make is spearmint. And I'm gonna take you out to my garden. We're gonna harvest some mint and then we're gonna bring it in. We're gonna clean it up, put it into the still and get it going. Okay, so now that you've seen how easy it is to use the still, put it together, take it apart, you can get your own still and we can do it together. What a great idea. So check out the link in my description and get your own still, clean it up, and by the time the next video comes out, we can be doing this together and we can be learning together. So that'll be really awesome. And let's make essential oils together. Yes. I love that idea. Yes.